This video is brought to you by Smugglers Run Gaming, growing and organizing competitive gaming communities. Check them out at facebook.com at Smugglers Run Gaming. Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando, coming to you tonight from Monday Night Dice. On our left we have Derek playing Palpatine Retribution, they're calling this Odd Palp. And on our right we have Eric, he's playing Elite Snoke, Elite Bazine, and a Battle Droid. We are of course on Theed for both of these guys, because who doesn't run Theed these days? So the roll-off will of course matter just for that one dollar, because Palp is going to control the battlefield otherwise. Alright, so Eric wins it heartily, it's two to five. So two shields will go on to Palpatine, and Eric will get us started. All right, Bazine comes in. Hoping for the special, no special. Okay, so we see, uh, just a reminder, the special on Bazine is deal three damage to a character with no damage on it, or one damage otherwise. Goes to Derek. Derek pays one for a Torment. So Torment is when this character takes damage, you may exhaust to gain one money. So just a reminder, the reason they call this Odd Palpatine is it primarily runs odds and then relies on which magic to stay alive. And of course, Retribution is every time a die is removed, you can deal a damage to a character. So Eric Power Actions, it goes back to Derek. All right, Palp comes in. You get a shield and a discard. All right, Eric pays three for Delve. He'll deal himself an indirect and then play a card from his hand. Opens with an ATST. That's pretty good. Okay, he actually puts the indirect onto Snoke. Now, for those who have not seen OG Palp played, when his dice is resolved, you deal effectively two indirect to your opponent. It's not actually called that because indirect wasn't a thing when he was printed, but any resolution of a dice deals two indirect to your opponent. Right, there's a pitch to reroll. All right, there's some guns. All right, ATST coming in. Gets the special, can blow up a support, but no support in play. All right, so the three gun and the two gun, and then remember, there's two effective indirect on each one of those. Right, so three to Bazine, and then two indirect puts two into Snoke. And then two more into Bazine. And then the two indirects probably goes on the droid. Let's see where he puts it. One on the droid. Two on the droid. Yep. All right. Here comes Snoke. There he got a one focus and a dollar. Derek's about done with his turn here. He has one dollar. Jesus for another torment. Okay, that'll net him some serious cash. There's a one focus to the five for one. Right, Derek will claim. Oh, there's a friends and low for a planetary bombardment, a planetary bombardment. And I think that's a threaten, but I'm sorry, I could not see that. But the planetary will come in, deals one indirect, which gets taken on a shield. That one indirect is because the ATST is in play. Okay, planetary comes in. Nope, oh, this is on the indirect. Yep, takes a dollar. Takes three dollars, Snoke, so he'll the Zine will go to six. And does he pitch to re-roll is the question. Chance cube. Ah, comes down on the droid. He pays one to roll it in, gets a blank on each. So here's a pitch to re-roll for sure. Last card to pitch, pitches another delve to reroll. Good lord, what a hand. Alright, that's not what he was hoping for. He did get some money on the cube. Thanks, right, so there's a discard. Loses a rise again. That's pretty good. Takes a dollar with the cube. And then he'll hit. Okay, so removing the one shield. Palp should, yep, and Derek took his $2 for the Torment, and Palp will be at 9. That's a heck of an opening turn for both of these guys. 
All right, Eric has $4, as does Derek, but Derek also has Battlefield Control. Ah, uh, yes, actually, Derek, Eric should only have three because he had to pay for the ATSD. Good catch, gentlemen. Nicely done. All right, Derek gets to open us up here. All right, there's a Force Illusion. That'll help him keep alive for a little bit. All right, Bazine comes in. Dollar and a Disrupt. Goes to Derek. All right, Pelp coming in with his two dice, but nothing else. All right, there's a Blank and a Shield, or a two Shield, rather. Here comes the Bombardment. All right, that's the four. Alright, Witch Magic for likely three heal. See a conflicted and overconfidence in a triple threat. Heals three. Eric probably just hits and pops here, I would imagine, unless he's got something else. Nope, he's going to snoke it out. Or not snoke it out, but he wants to get focus first is what I mean. So Snoke comes in with a disrupt and a one focus. Alright, see so he'll take the two shields and deal two indirect. Okay, puts them both on the droid. The droid will come out. Eric will pay a dollar for the cube. It's a blank and does get an indirect though on the droid, which is snokeable. Hey, okay, there's a pitch to reroll. Drops an endurance for another blank. All right, that's three indirect. He'll snoke. So two shields. Uh, he's debating on the force illusion, but I don't think you debate that with all the big dice on the table. Yep, so he'll take one, two, takes one net after the shields. Okay, is Derek's... Oh, yes, he gains the two dollars on the torments. All right, here's the big boy. But it's not Eric's action because Derek had just used the torment, so it's Derek's action. Yep, nicely played, gentlemen. Derek is thinking it over here. He knows he's in trouble. That Force Illusion will certainly save him a blow, though. Okay, still thinking it over. He has, I mean, he has four dollars. There's a lot of dice in the pool. Does he have a mind trick? Likely not, because I think this is a mostly odd deck. Pitches to re-roll, drops a fist to do it. There's some guns. Okay, gets removed, and then he'll deal one damage. Probably kills the droid here. Oh. Unfortunate table bump there, but we can still see most of the field of play. All right, there's an overwrite for another Force Illusion. Cost him zero, goes to Eric. All right, there's the ATST. It rolls to three. Power action on Derek's side. And I think Derek's about done. He's out of cards, right? So. Now we did see a Hailfire tank in Eric's hand. Um, I don't know if that's the way to try to go here. He also has a Boundless and he pulled that to the front. That may be what he's considering doing here. I mean he'd have to pitch the reroll first to try to get stuff out of it. but. So he's going to focus to the two focus. Okay, goes to the five, and likely the seven. Again, Derek has no cards here, so... All right, so there's 12. 
Right, Derek claims. All right, so there's seven. Pops is on the fourth solution. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what we lost here. Triple threat, overconfidence, conflicted, indomitable, feel your anger, feel your anger, and then I think another overconfidence. Sorry, I missed the second to bottom card. All right, ATST for five. Pops there. One, two, three, four, five. The other fist, a deflect, endurance, witch magic, and the high ground. All right, takes a dollar. And disrupt for whatever it's worth. Both those fists are gone, so. All right, so Eric has $3. Derek will have $7 plus the feed and a torment. So uh, we can rise again here and actually pull another Force Illusion back, although I think there's only four cards left in Derek's deck, if I did my count correct. I think that's what they're actually discussing right now. Yep, exactly. Four cards. Yep, we just saw all four cards fanned out. So, is Derek's move here? I'm sure he just rolls in Palp, but maybe he rises again first. He certainly has the money for it. Highly likely he has it with only four cards in his deck. Yep, there it is. So, he'll spend five for the rise again, and he'll pull likely a Force Illusion. Yeah, a lot of cards to go through there before you find the Force Illusion. Oh, it's right there. I mean, I think that's the only upgrade in his discard pile other than the other Torment, so... Yep, so that can at least take four, but with the Focus, he's probably not going to be able to use it, I think. Okay, so it comes in with money and the shield. There's the power action, goes to two. Eric has to get him here, otherwise... And Eric may have to try to save his money. Because, see, the thing with Palp is, even though... Even though you remove the Palp die and take one for the hit, you're not taking at least the two. So there's a resilience that we saw and a force speed. Okay, the force speed comes down. Fair enough. Okay, ATST comes in with the three. So again, he has to hit for more than three because that force solution will just soak it up. All right, here comes Palp. Let's see what Derek can do. Just kidding. Ah, one for Resilient. Okay, two shields go on to Bazine. That'll make her snokable. Alright, there's guns, a discard, and a force speed special. Planetary. I can't see. There we go. Okay, it's a five. All right, there's a Conflicted. So if he hits damage, he deals two. If not, he takes shields. So he hits damage, so he'll deal two. Take the shields off Bazine, it looks like. Yep, now Bazine still has enough, enough health to get snoked, unless he kills, of course. So... Did I miss a did I miss an action on Eric's side? Because it looks to me like we did a conflict and then immediately resolved. Okay, but Snoke is now at ten. Rolling in. 
two indirect, one disrupt. So Derek's out of money. So basically if he can live through, he'll win. If Eric can finish him off, then obviously he won't. Okay, there's a pitch to reroll. There's the five for one, two indirect, and then a Snoke blank. So he can hit for the five, and he can't take it with the Force Illusion. Okay, puts him at 12, and that's it, because Derek can't take the five. All right, that is it. That's game. Game goes to Eric. Odd Palp goes down to the Snoke, Bazine, Huge Vehicle Wave. Uh, thank you guys for watching Dice Commando. Again, if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Dice Commando. Thanks for watching.